Hello and welcome back to another video. This video is basically my custom tactics I used this weekend. Um, it was the first weekend that I've managed to reach elite. I know for some people um, that's not a hard thing to do, but for the people like me who have been stuck in that gold two, gold one, you can't make that jump. Um, for me, these tactics seem to make the difference for me. Um, I just wanted to share them. Uh, disclaimer, I'm not a pro, I'm not a professional, I'm not really good at the game. Um, it's just, I just want to share these because it's the first time I got elite and I just felt like I was dominating people I wouldn't normally dominate. So I'll just go through my squad, uh, let you guys know what the best kind of players are for that position um, and then go on to the custom tactics. Uh, so this is my team that I used this weekend. It's very nice actually. Um, I got two silver team of the weeks, so you can see that I haven't got the best team, um, but I still hit that elite. So take that into consideration. Obviously, back four is pretty standard. You'll see it in everyone's team. You need Varan. You need Varan and Mendy. Now, this is if you're going full meta sweat. By the way, like I know. Uh, a lot of people like to experiment, and I like to experiment, but I've never reached Elite by experimenting. I went straight to this meta team, first weekend I hit Elite, so it's you've got to do it, unfortunately, to to get the best players. Like The best players are the meta for a reason. Like it's You've got to pick them if you want to do well. Um, so yeah, I've gone Kunde. Uh, a lot of people go like Gomez, like Walker, or someone like that, uh, which I could do. But well, that's for the future because I think Kunde is getting an upgrade, so I just want to stick him in there. Uh, this Sarabia, like right back, just use a, a standard sort of right back. I use this silver team of the week. His card's really nice, so with a with a shadow, he felt like Mendy, but just right back. So yeah, keeper, anyone high rated, Quartoir, like to Stegen or Black. Um, their keepers are just rubbish, so it's kind of irrelevant. Um, so going into the midfield, I've got Pogba and Kante. So obviously, I played two formations mainly, um, and then one formation just to, for a full-out push if I'm losing. Um, but for the formations I use mostly, um, you want kind of a balanced balanced midfield. So you want your holding midfielder, which I've got Kante. Um, if you haven't got him, I would 100% recommend it. Like his interceptions, his speed and his jockeying speed is out of this world. Uh, so he's really good pickup. But yeah, anyone defensive and then your other uh, CDM or centre mid, uh, you want them a bit more attacking. Uh, you want them to be more balanced. You can do both jobs. Kind of like Pogba, he's not the best at defending. Um, so he's got, he's just got the height though. He can get those interceptions and stuff. Uh, he can uh, use his physical to get the tackles in. So anyone sort of similar, uh, a balanced sort of centre mid, even like Paulinho, informal or whatever. Uh, so yeah, that's the midfield. Uh, wingers, I've just got Alisson Drini and I used Che Adams on the wing as well. You just need speed pretty much. Alisson Drini is probably more of a winger than Che because uh, he's got that dribbling and passing. But Che, all he's got is just pure speed and power. So it's... I just play it down the wing. He runs down the line and passes it in. It's it's very simple. The wings you just need pace. Um, so anyone on the wings really. So striker and Cam. So Dembele was play Cam. Five star weak foot. Everyone knows Dembele. He's he's overpowered on this game. If you haven't got him, until you can get Neymar, he's got to be in your team. Uh, he's just that alternative to Neymar that's cheap. Uh, Werner. He was. It, I don't know this weekend, it was strange. I, I didn't enjoy him, but then you look at his stats, he's got 49, 42, 22. And that's insane. So, I don't know, I might stick with him for another week and see what rewards I get and things. But, yeah, he was a strange one. But, yeah, you just want a clinical striker. Someone a little bit nimbler uh, than Werner, I would say. Like his turning speed, and he was a little bit slow. Um, but anything in front of goal, he seemed to finish it, so... Yeah, that's the team. That's the balance of it. Um, let's jump into custom tactics. Um, to to start off, I just yeah, I don't even know what I've done here. Uh, but yeah, that's not really the point. So or when the game starts, so I automatically go on to. See, this depends. If I come up against 
No. No, let's, let's start that again. So automatically I go on to attacking because 4-4-2 seems to be my best formation. Uh, this is the custom tactics for the 4-4-2. Uh, pressure on heavy touch, 5 width, 4 depth. Uh, balanced offensive style, 5 width and 4 players in the box. For me, this just seems to be really balanced. 4-4-2 um, is just all about being balanced. Like you have... Um, Pogba, you've got Che, you've got Alisson Drini, you've got Werner and you've got Dembele all attacking and then you will have Kante and all the defence obviously staying back. So these are the custom tactics to start on Dembele. Haven't changed anything there or Werner haven't changed anything. Um, the two wide players are put cut inside, get in behind, get into the box for the cross. I want them to support because most of the time they're kind of out the game because the 4 4 is quite wide. So I want them to cut inside, get involved with the strikers, little one twos, etc. Uh, and get involved. So that's the same for Alison Drini as well. So into the midfield, we've got Pogba just balanced apart from cover centre. Um, and the same for Kante apart from stay back while attacking. So I, I don't really seem to change too many tactics because when I, when I start doing that, I really do mess up. Um, the sort of balance to have in the team, if that makes sense. I think I start playing with stuff and it just doesn't seem to work. Um, so yeah, the two fullbacks stay back while attacking. And the keeper, I put come for crosses and sweep a keeper because keepers are rubbish as they are. So if they can come out and risk and get the ball, I'm, I'm happy with that. So that's those tactics. Uh, so that's my 4-4-2. So if I'm playing someone and they're starting to get on top and I can't really get into the game uh, I'd switch into the defensive this is very rare by the way because I, I prefer the 4-4-2 um, but if someone is getting on the top and I need to just keep the ball a little bit a bit more defensive uh, I will go into the 4-2-3-1 uh, the tactics pretty, they're exactly the same uh, pressure on heavy touch 5-4 this unfortunately in the 4-2-3-1 I find it really static I don't know if it's just me, but I feel like you have to build up really slowly, and I'm like that's not how I play football. Um, so I, I prefer long ball because your players just automatically get up the pitch. Um, so yeah, whip five players in the box four, and corners three kicks. Preference really, but I just go two just for safety. Um, here you got your two midfielders, pretty much the setup as a four four two, but instead you got Dembele behind Werner. Um, so yeah, instructions. Werner is balanced. Dembele balanced. The uh, cams balanced. Like I said, I don't change too much. Uh, Kante cut pass in lanes, stay back while attacking cover centre. Um, I, I have among uh, conservative interceptions as well uh, because I. It's strange. I I don't want the CDMs to over overcommit if that makes sense I just want them to be in a natural position um, and just cut the passing lanes if they can uh, don't go into an area where they're just out of position so that seemed to help me quite a lot there um, so cover centre cut passing lanes um, and obviously Pogba I just put him on balanced attack so he does come back but then he goes forwards like he's just the balanced CDM um, and then the two Fullbacks obviously stay back while attacking. I've got my overlap there, but it's not too much of a big deal. And once again, comes for crosses, sweeper, keeper. Um, so that's the sort of formation. If I'm getting a little bit kind of battered, if you know what I mean, if I'm, I need to get a bit of control in the game. And then I've just got an ultra defensive, which is if I'm holding on the last 10 minutes and the guy's like full press, like you can't get out. So I go on to this one. Um, so it goes back to free depth. Uh, defensive style is balanced instead of uh, pressure on heavy touch. Uh, offensive style back to long ball because if someone's pressing you hard, you just need that route out. And if you can play that long ball where someone's in, jobs are good. And uh, so yeah, whip five players in the box free. I want less people to commit. Uh, the instructions we go in here. Um, pretty much every single player just come back on defense. Uh, just get some bodies back. Um, just try and get as many people back as you can. Uh, the two CDMs stay back while attacking. Uh, cut passing lanes and cover centre. 
the the cams just all come back on defence, and obviously the the right back, left back stay back while attacking, and once again the keeper come for crosses, sweep a keeper. Um, so that's if I'm holding on the last ten minutes, I need to kind of camp in a little bit and try and spring on the attack. Um, so yeah, that is my custom tactics that made me reach elite. Once again, I'm not a pro. I'm not good at the game. It's just the first time I reached elite ever. And I just wanted to share the custom tactics that probably may be able to help a few players that play the same as me, that are stuck in gold, that might be able to reach that next level. So yeah, I hope you guys and girls enjoyed this. And yeah, see you next time.